Eddie Muller here, welcoming you to the Christmas edition of Noir Alley. During the holiday season, it can be difficult to decide what kind of movie you want to watch. Somebody always wants a warm-hearted comedy, while somebody else wants a romance. And then there's the guy, me, who always wants a crime thriller. So, don't touch that dial. Today, we've got them all for you in one movie. It's Mr. Soft Touch from Columbia Pictures in 1949. Glenn Ford stars as a war vet named Joe Miracle, who returns to San Francisco to discover that a gangster has killed his partner and taken over his nightclub. Getting revenge requires him to lay low in a local settlement house run by dowdy do-gooder Jenny Jones, played by Evelyn Keyes. Yes, it's that kind of picture. The guy's name is Joe Miracle, and we're supposed to believe Evelyn Keyes as a mousy spinster. This was the sixth time Columbia paired Glenn Ford and Evelyn Keyes, starting in 1940 with The Lady in Question, followed by The Adventures of Martin Eden, Flight Lieutenant, The Desperados, and The Mating of Millie, a charming comedy directed by Henry Levin, the director of today's film. Well, to be accurate, Levin is one of the directors. Some sections are directed by action ace Gordon Douglas, which should be a tip-off to this film's weird split personality. I can imagine the debates in the studio's executive suite as they prepared to send the cast and crew to San Francisco, where Mr. Soft Touch was shot on location. This will be a great revenge thriller with a nice romantic angle. Throw in some laughs and the action crowd will eat it up. Are you nuts? This is a sweet romantic comedy with some chases and gunplay to keep the husbands awake. It wasn't like this recipe hadn't been used before. In fact, it was the specialty of writer Milton Holmes and just about the only dish he ever cooked up. Holmes started in the business as an actor in the late 20s, but that career path crumbled by 1936. He switched to writing and in 1943 sold his first story to RKO. Mr. Lucky, starring Cary Grant and Lorraine Day, was about a ne'er-do-well gambler who ends up falling for the dame he's trying to swindle. Proving that all you really need in Hollywood is one good idea, Holmes spent the next 10 years recycling the same character in various gambling-related plots. First, there was 1945's Salty O'Rourke, a horse racing tale in which Alan Ladd was the cynical Sharpie who falls for Gail Russell. It earned Holmes an Oscar nomination for Best Original Screenplay. Since he stole it from himself, I guess it's still considered original. The following year, Dick Powell played the same guy now operating a casino under the name Johnny O'Clock, which director Robert Rawson made as a full-fledged noir. Two years later, Holmes rearranged some plot elements and sold it to Columbia again as Mr. Soft Touch. And just for good measure, the character got one more lap around the racetrack in 1952, with William Holden playing him under the name Boots Malone. Evelyn Keyes had been playing it spunky and adorable at Columbia for almost a decade. And although she'd become a star, the years she spent fending off the advances of studio boss Harry Cohn had convinced Keyes that the boss was out to ruin her career. This role was definitely a change of pace, with her trademark blonde waves dyed brown and straightened and her innate sexiness kept under wraps. In her next film, Keyes was even more unrecognizable, playing a sweaty and haggard smallpox carrier in The Killer That Stalked New York. And that would be her last picture for the studio and the end of her strange, tumultuous relationship with Harry Cohn. If you like crime and comedy and romance, you get them all in this one, if not always smoothly blended with a swell supporting cast featuring John Ireland, Beulah Bondi, Percy Kilbride, and perennial noir heavy Ted DeCorsia. From 1949, here is Mr. Soft Touch.